Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching Vector Art. So in today's video we will learn how to create this beautiful looking dashboard in Blend for Visual Studio using the UI framework Handy Controls. So you can see that uh, we have cool looking uh, animations and calendar controls and other uh, tools uh, that are provided by Handy Controls. So let's get straight into it and without any further ado, let's get started. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please do subscribe to my channel. So let's first start by creating a new project in Blend for Visual Studio. So let's click on create a new project and make sure you click on WPF app using .NET framework. If you don't find it in your recent projects, then you can obviously uh, search for that uh, name in the search bar and make sure it is WPF app with .NET framework. Otherwise, you will not find the triggers panel uh, for animating the uh, applications. So, but here in this video, I'm not going to animate anything, but uh, the previous videos which I made, uh, they were made in uh, Blend using uh, a WPF app uh, using .NET framework. So make sure you select that project type. So now moving forward, let's uh, give this project a name and click on the button create. Once the designer is loaded, let's go to tools. Uh, NuGet package manager manage NuGet packages here uh, let's go to browse and search for handy controls select the second uh, link because it will provide you the readme file which will help you in uh, installing or implementing this uh, uh, toolkit into your project so let's click on install click on ok and accept the terms and conditions once the application once the toolkit is installed uh, it will open a readme file which will help you in uh, implementing it so let's wait for the application uh, toolkit to install Also, the source code for this application is uh, in, in the description. You can go to GitHub and download the source code. Uh, so here you can see that uh, the readme file is open and uh, you can copy that uh, resource dictionary from the code provided here and paste it in the app.xaml file, which you will find in the solution explorer. Open the app.xaml file and paste the resource dictionary inside the application resources and now copy the namespace and paste it inside the uh, namespace section. Now uh, also copy that same namespace in the main window.xaml file after the width information and close the section. Now let's build the application just to rule out any errors. So, uh, application I think it is uh, built successfully. Let's go to controls and you, if you select all you will see the newly added controls here now. Uh, now let's start designing the application. So let's select the window and go to properties and first things first let's change the width and height to 900 and 550 next let's change the allow transparency checkbox to true and run the application so I think this is the desired size of the window now uh, before we move on uh, let's change the uh, window startup uh, location to center and let's go to the event section and on the mouse down let's uh, write some code So here, if the event is a uh, change, if it is mouse button dot left, 
then make this window draggable so if you remove uh, if you remove the borders from the window uh, we are we will not be able to drag the window around so we have to write this code so to move the borderless window so now you can see that we can move this window so that done now let's start designing the window so let's zoom out a little and let's start by adding a rectangle on the left hand side so this will act as a panel side panel so let's change the color fill and also let's remove the stroke now let's add an image draw the image on the grid and change the source So all these images I have downloaded from icons8.com uh, All the images are free to download um, Make sure you uh, go to the description and uh, check that website And whenever you use it uh, don't uh, make sure you um, credit it in some way So now let's add a button after you add a button to the grid right click go to edit template edit a copy click on ok and remove this border delete it select the first border go to the corner radius and change it to a local value first and then change the background to a different color to do that also you have to change it to a local color and now you can see the color of the button and change the radius to say 30 points so now we have a round button so let's change the color to a different color maybe I think we'll have to change it to white Before that let's add an image inside that border and change the source to the home button, home icon. And I think we cannot see it here because it is on the uh, white section. So let's go back to the window and place the button on the side panel change the width and height of the button to say 40 points let's make it 35 uh, I think that looks good let's run the application and see this in action once okay so let's uh, change the button style again let's so let's go back to the button edit template and edit current this time and select the border and uh, change the border background color to say white change it to white and and change the opacity to say 50% maybe 25 is good ok so we have this cool looking button now let's run the application and see it in action once again so yes it has those animations as well so let's make a copy of the, the button that we created and this time make sure you create uh, edit the template and edit a copy and change the icons in each template that you are copying 
if you are editing the current then it will uh, edit all the templates that are uh, associated with it so make sure you edit a copy now we are done uh, changing the template for all the buttons so let's run the application and see it in action so that's done so now let's uh, add a text block on top of the white panel or the white section okay, so let's zoom in and uh, add the text block let's type in welcome I think uh, bold letters, uh, sorry, the capital letters uh, will look good. So let's type in welcome and then let's make a copy of it and let's type the username. And also let's make the font bold and change the font size as well. Welcome Jane Doe. I think it should be a little more big okay now next le uh, let's add a card element on the screen So this card will hold the uh, uh, graph details and other useful information. So let's go to the card properties. Uh, before that let's uh, select the window and change the window color to smoke white. Now let's select the card and go to properties and remove the content. So we have a white card on a smoke white background. Let's copy the text block first inside the uh, or let's say move the uh, text block inside the card and change the text to statistics and give that sub uh, text processes so it can be anything there I am just uh, designing uh, this as a mock-up you can uh, put your information here whatever details you would like to display on this dashboard so let's select a circular uh, progress bar so this progress bar is uh, from the uh, handy controls and also the card element is also from the handy controls so these are the uh, documentation for these uh, uh, controls that I'm using uh, the link to it is also there in the description so I'm using this uh, progress bar uh, so the code snippet is also pr present here you can take the code snippet and you can understand the properties as well so here I will change the value first so let's change the value to say 50 just to understand uh, let's make it 25 now I want the first one uh, the four color of the background to be a light uh, yellow color or say a lemon yellow color and the foreground to be a darker shade of yellow okay so that's done so let's add a label to this uh, progress bar before that let's change the font size and uh, yeah so let's move this a little up on the card and now let's make a copy of the text box that we have text block sorry and change its size
change the font properties and change the four color to gray okay so let's add one more text block below that and change the text to overview and also font color to yellow and now we are drawing a rectangle on the grid and placing it uh, up below the uh, text block that we added you can also add a button but here I am using it as a label also let's resize the rectangle now let's select all the prop uh, elements and group it into a grid let's make a copy of that grid and paste it next to each other I'll speed up the video here so that uh, um, we save some time and do not repeat the same process of explaining the things so I'll quickly change the data and the uh, colors and the siphons properties so yeah it's almost done let's use the eyedropper tool to uh, uh, take the color from the existing uh, progress bars so we are done with the progress uh, circular progress bars let's run the application once and see it in action so yeah it looks cool now we have to add other UI elements so let's move on to that let's increase the card size a little and uh, let's use the line tool to add a separator which will act as a separator basically so let's uh, select the grid and draw a line now let's go to properties and change the fill and stroke property to uh, gray color and also let's increase the uh, width of the uh, line or the path that we have drawn okay so let's move it a little down and now let's uh, start adding uh, the other elements to the right hand side so let's copy the same uh, text block and paste it on the right change the text so this is for the deadlines decrease the size and let's select a regular progress bar which is provided by WPF and not by the handy controls and place it on the screen change the foreground color to yellow for the first one follow the same template that we followed for the circular progress bars change the color and uh, change the font size for the label and uh, let's add a date picker from the uh, handy controls so this date picker uh, I have taken from the handy controls UI framework you can uh, go to the documentation and see its properties so this is a date time picker I did not have enough space so I am just uh, showing the icon there but uh, you can have you can show the selected date as well inside the uh, uh, text box that it has okay or you can uh, but uh, or you can bind that uh, date time picker to a different text box and then you can uh, populate that text box using that binding so here uh, I have placed this uh, date time picker here let's make copies of this and uh, repeat the same process of uh, uh, collecting uh, the color from the 
existing uh, progress bars and let's uh, add one more small thing uh, sometimes uh, the date time picker uh, will uh, take the different language to show the dates so just to make sure it is in English let's copy this uh, uh, configure helper code uh, into the right now it is in English but sometimes it might be in Japanese or in Chinese so let's copy this code uh, in the initialize component section and uh, add the necessary libraries of handy controls and uh, run the application just to make sure the language it uses is English so yeah so that's uh, done we are done with the first card okay so let's move on to the next section so let's add one more card on the grid on the main grid make sure you add everything on the main grid but if you are following uh, the other uh, panels like stack panels or other wrap panels then make sure you add it inside them but here I am adding everything on the main grid so let's select the color from the uh, purple uh, progress bar remove the uh, content card and now let's uh, move the text block from the existing uh, card into the uh, newly created card so let's copy it select the main grid and paste it so I am using the alt key and uh, using the mouse uh, left button I am dragging the controls to copy so yeah so let's change the foreground color to white change the text now let's make a copy of the text decrease its size and change it to say a value 1 million increase the font size of the uh, numbers and uh, see how it looks this looks much better let's move it a little up let's also change the dollar sign size to 16 okay let's add a combo box uh, from the handy controls so let's go to the documentation and go to the combo box uh, documentation and select one of the combo box uh, from here and go to the SAML and paste the combo box at the end let's remove the item source from here and now we have a combo box so let's uh, decrease its size and place it inside the card let's now go to the font size and change the font size to 10 points now let's go to the item source I think it's yeah I think I found it here let's uh, minimize other panels and yeah here items so let's add list item let's add four items so the first one will be daily
second one will be weekly third one will be monthly and the last one will be yearly okay so let's click on ok and let's change the foreground color to purple and run the application so we can see one clear button there so let's go to the properties and uh, remove the show clear button to f or change the show clear button to false so this will not show the clear button okay so now let's next uh, let's move on to the other card the third card so let's go to the designer copy the existing card and place it below increase its size a little okay change the background color to white just select the text block and place it on the third text uh, card change the foreground to black or say dark gray change the text so this will be projections and let's mention the date and let's go to the uh, controls and search for wave progress bar so this is one another control from uh, handy controls so this will show a progress bar in the form of a wave so let's go to the properties and here you can see in the documentation if you go to the wave progress bar you will see the documentation so I don't want to uh, see the text so let's uh, remove the show text or change the sh uh, show text property to false and add it to that progress bar so we do not have the text now so let's move it and let's add a value of say 50 so you can see this cool looking animation in the way uh, in the progress bar and it shows that it is 50 percent full and let's add a value here now let's change the foreground to purple and change the value to say 265 and let's change the font size to say 24 yeah I think that looks good so we are done with the third card now let's move down and add the fourth card So let's draw the card on the screen. And uh, like always, uh, let's go to the content and remove the card text. Run the application once to see it in action and just to rule out any errors. Okay, so it is working perfectly fine so now we are going to make one more uh, uh, use of the handy control and that will be the scrollable uh, panel so before that let's add the card on the right hand side and also copy the path that we drew or the line and paste it on the fourth card so, sorry the fifth card so let's make a copy of it and place it here to divide the fifth card into two okay so that's done so let's focus on the fourth fourth card so let's go to the scroll viewer and see the documentation so we can have a scroll view like this so for that uh, you can directly copy this second code snippet because I want uh, the scroll to be horizontal and not uh, vertical so I'm copying the scroll view 
selecting the uh, main grid and going to the XML and pasting the scroll viewer. So let's uh, remove the access code that we have inside and let's just focus on the first border. So let's resize the control first. And uh, yeah, so you can see that uh, we have this horizontal uh, scrolling. So so let's go to the XML and select the scroller. I think I have resized the border instead of the uh, scroll view. So let's uh, resize the scroll view first and remove the width and height for the border that we changed earlier. So let's re resize it inside this card and uh, remove the uh, width and height property for the border that we added or the wrap panel basically. The wrap panel remove that so that it is wrapping the content based on the number of uh, element it has so now let's remove the borders that we have inside and let's start adding our own elements inside the wrap panel so let's start first by adding a button or uh, this time let's add a rectangle uh, yeah we'll add a rectangle so let's add draw a rectangle inside the wrap panel and uh, as you can see that we are not able to move the rectangle because it is inside a wrap panel so let's add a grid or uh, let's wrap the rectangle within a grid and uh, now if you go to the designer uh, let's first uh, select the grid and change its size yeah uh, after you change the size uh, now we can easily move the rectangle within the grid so let's move the rectangle and change the corner radius to say 30 or so and select the color using the eyedropper tool and remove the stroke and let's add a text block inside the uh, main grid and then move it inside the uh, subgrid so I am moving now I am moving this uh, inside the grid for some reason it is not dragging so I am just increasing the size and moving it let's add the initial and change the four color to white in a moment you will understand what I am trying to do here so bear with me so next we will copy this text block inside the grid so let's move it inside the grid okay after moving it inside the grid it has changed its position because of the margins that we it uh, that were created because we dragged the control now we are setting a different margin and uh, after we have moved let's uh, change the foreground color for the text block change the name and make it bold so let's change the font size a little and let's mention Peter Dawson's role as developer and let's copy 
let's change the initial to P and now you see that why we need that initial there inside that circle now let's select the um, rectangle and the text block from the first grid make a copy of it and move it inside our newly created grid So you can reduce the size, change the text block text and change the corner radius of the uh, rectangle and change the text to active. So this will show the status of the user, something similar to a chat application. Now let's make a copy of the grid that we created and paste it inside the wrap panel. So do repeat this process a couple of times. Uh, till we have the enough uh, users in real-time scenario this will be populated uh, you can make a user control out of it uh, and then uh, you can um, populate it based on the number of users that you have inside the wrap panel so let's I have speed up the process and I am changing the content So let's copy all the grid that we have and uh, duplicate it again inside the wrap panel. And let's run this and see it in action. Okay, so if you scroll here, you can see all the users that we have. Now we need a title for this card. So let's select the scroll view and decrease its size a little and let's select the title from here and paste it on the uh, fourth card and let's say it uh, or let's say let's change the text to chat let's move that uh, to the top of the uh, controls above the scroll viewer okay so that's done now let's move on to the next section or the last card so let's copy the title first this time okay change the text to upcoming events let's copy the scroll view as is and move it on the last card let's uh, do some minor design changes so that it fits within the uh, the section that is allotted to it or uh, we have uh, the horizontal bar there so we have to move the cont contents inside that section so let's delete the unnecessary elements or the grids and just full first let's focus on the first grid in the newly copied uh, scroll view so let's move the circle and the uh, initial to the left also let's move the title before that let's may change the initial to M and now let's move the name and the so this will be the meeting name or the event name and the event time so let's move that to the left decreases its size and this remove this uh, rectangle and the text block and here instead we will uh, add the uh, button let's resize the grid and resizing the grid change the rectangles position so let's move it back to the position and now the last thing that we have to do is add a button so this will be a cancel button so let's add a button inside the grid decrease its size change the text change the border color to purple foreground color to purple and 
change the content to cancel let's try and decrease the height of the button and also changing the height we will have to change the padding so that the text is in the center now we can uh, decrease the size of the scroll bar, scroll view and now that our grid is ready we can make copies of that grid within the uh, wrap panel so let's uh, minimize it select the grid and make copies within the wrap panel change the uh, individual grid details like uh, meeting 2 here in this sec and for the grid 3 let's change the text to meeting 3 and for grid 4 let's change the meeting to me uh, meeting 4 so we have our another scroll uh, view ready so let's run the application once and see it in action last we will be adding a calendar control with clock so the documentation is here you can just copy this uh, tag and place it at the end doing so it will occupy the whole uh, grid so let's resize it let's add some width and height by resizing it okay and uh, here in this scenario I do not want the uh, clock I just want the calendar to fit in the uh, left position uh, in the screen so for that let's select the control edit template edit a copy and click on OK here uh, if I expand the grid let's select the border first and decrease its size and uh, hide the clock presenter and decrease the size of the border so doing so uh, my uh, uh, calendar control is modified uh, and I can go back to the window and here you can see that I am not uh, seeing the clock section and also the border is uh, um, within the uh, calendar so let's run this application hope you all liked watching this video if you do please 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 do subscribe to my channel uh, it means a lot and if you are interested in uh, working with this code or downloading this code you can go to the description and download the source code from github uh, thanks for watching bye bye